Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at having Photoshop record a history of what you're doing in a file as you're working on it. Now before I start the video, let me tell you where you can find additional Photoshop training. I have hundreds of classes at Skillshare.com. The coupon in the description below includes an offer for you at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and generally much better. Sign up for Skillshare and you'll get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine. Please feel free to share these coupons with your family and friends. So back to Photoshop and let's see how you can get Photoshop to record the history of what you do on a file. On a PC you'll choose Edit and then Preferences and on the Mac you'll go to Photoshop and then Preferences. Then you'll select History Log. This is the dialog in which you set up what you want Photoshop to record. So first of all, you want to enable your history log. You can choose where to save your log items too. Now saving it to the image metadata has some value. The problem is that if you're giving this image to a client, for example, you probably don't want to put inside that metadata exactly what you did to the photo. I prefer to save my log items just to an external text file that I can then have a look at, but nobody else can see. So if I select text file, I can go to choose and I can choose a location for for that file. So you just click on choose. You can give the file a name. You can locate it wherever you want. This is not the location I have mine in, but you would choose a location and click save. Now I've already got mine being stored. Of course, you can also choose to embed the data both as metadata and in a text file, whichever you like. And then you choose what items you want Photoshop to log. So you can log sessions only, and that's when you open and close a file. So you might use that for sort of time recording perhaps, but you won't get any value out of it in terms of what you actually did to a file. Concise is a concise recording, and detailed is detailed session. I'm going to show you the detailed one because I use detailed. Since this is a text file, it takes up absolutely practically no room on your computer. So don't worry about it taking up a lot of space. So feel free to use detailed because that will give you the most rich data about what you've done on a file. Once you've done that, click OK. You want to close Photoshop and reopen it before you get working just to make sure that that setting has been put in place. Let's have a look at an edit file. So this is the file that I'm recording. Let me just go back up to the top of it. So this has been in place since 2017. It's telling me when I opened a file and what file was opened. And then here you'll see that I opened a file and I did a whole lot of things to it. You'll see here that I cropped it, I made it black and white, I used fill, all sorts of things. And here is rich detail about all the work that I've been doing on files for nearly a year now. And I can come back if I need to see what I did to something, if I've got a question about it. And the data for that is going to be in this file. So it's really handy. It's a great way of having Photoshop record the history of what you did on a file. Now this is particularly important because when you work on a file, I'm just going to open up well, the bottom banner that I was working on for my YouTube channel. Here, this is the file that I've been working on. I've done a lot of work on this file, but if I go to the history panel, you'll see that there is none of that rich detail kept. It's not stored with the image via the history panel. The only thing that you'll get in the history panel is what you've been doing on this file during the current session. As soon as you save and close the file, that history is discarded. But any history that you set up through this history log then that's going to be available to you and you'll be able to see what work you've done on this file in detail in that log file. So I think it's a really good setting. It bails me out every so often. It's something that you set up and forget. Well, set up and at least remember that you did it, but you don't have to do anything on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just chugging away in the background. And as I said, it takes up practically no room at all. So it's not like it's a big overhead to have on your computer. I hope this video has been of help to you. Please, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Click the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.